prepare yourselves because today we're delving into the world of Sonic 3 where the stakes are higher, the shadows are deeper, and the adventure is darker. How was Shadow created? Is the film going to explore this dark origin? Get ready for a thrilling ride as we explore why Sonic 3 is set to take a darker turn. First, let's jump into some plot details. Tuntu! Great! We're still bipedals. What will Sonic 3 focus on? Do we have some updates regarding the plot of the third installment? Well, the creators are, as expected, keeping all plot details under wraps. But thanks to the ending of the second film, we know that Sonic 3 is definitely going to pick up from the credit scene tease. In this scene, Gun searches for Robotnik, unable to find anything. Agent Stone is spotted, which makes us believe he helped Robotnik escape the scene. One of the most exciting fan favorite characters also makes an appearance in the post credit scene, Shadow the Hedgehog. This proves that Shadow is going to be the next villain in the third Sonic entry. What was it? Coordinates, sir. Coordinates? To what? Jeff Fallow, the creator of the franchise, shared some of his hopes regarding Sonic 3 while trying not to spoil the movie. In an interview with ComicBook.com, the person we should send thank you cards to for creating this amazing franchise said he's hesitant to go into too much detail because it's obviously still very early, adding that they are teasing a character he's incredibly excited about. It's very personal to me as a fan, he said at the end of the interview. He didn't say much, but he definitely said enough for fans to know that he was talking about the one and only Shadow. O'Shea Ganassi did an interview with Digital Spy, noting that she hopes to see Tails again. Thus, fans can see more and more of him and see where his gadgets can take everybody. As for Jim Carrey, well, we still don't know whether he'll return to reprise his role of Robotnik. However, we do know that he thinks Robotnik should get into nanotechnology. At least, that's what he said in an interview with Digital Spy. Further explained that he would like his machines to be released in an aerosol that can be ingested in the human body and turn people into him. For those of you worried about seeing another actor playing Robotnik, sleep peacefully because the creators are most certainly not going to recast the role. The third installment sounds quite promising though, with Shorts telling the playlist for the sequel, we blew it out so much and for three, it's going to be bananas. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Now, let's get into more details regarding Shadow's Dark Origin, shall we? Hello! Hedgehog. Did you miss me? There are a lot of fans, especially younger ones, who have no idea how Shadow came into the Sonic universe. His origin is so dark that we really don't know whether it's a good idea for the third film to get into it. As you already know, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is expected to include Shadow the Hedgehog as the new villain. As mentioned before, the post credit scene of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 teases Shadow's arrival as gun soldiers find secret archives for Project Shadow, and we see the character moments later. Shadow's backstory in the video games is, um, very, very dark. In fact, Shadow only exists thanks to Dr. Eggman's grandfather, Gerald Robotnik. To be more precise, Shadow the Hedgehog is an artificially born hedgehog that was created by Professor Gerald Robotnik through genetic engineering. But now, you're probably wondering, what was Shadow's purpose? Well, Shadow was created as part of an experiment to cure Gerald's granddaughter Maria from a fatal illness. Told you, it only gets darker and darker. The introduction of Shadow in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 could mark a big transition, only if the creators decide to stick to the source material, of course. Since this is a film franchise enjoyed by many kids all over the world, we don't know whether it's a good idea to stay loyal to the source material this time. Did your butt just turn into a helicopter? <laughs> A bloodcopter! Sonic has been a family-friendly comedic film series so far, but that's definitely going to change if the creators decide to explore Shadow's backstory. In the video games, there's a big focus on the tragic loss of Maria. In fact, her death has a huge influence on Shadow's arc in the games. Fifty years before Sonic Adventure 2, Dr. Robotnik's grandfather, Gerald Robotnik, was set to take control of Project Shadow, a secret military operation performed on the space colony Ark. This organization 
organization was all about discovering the secrets of immortality. Gerald found his place in Project Shadow so that he could find a cure for his granddaughter, Maria's Neuroimmune Deficiency Syndrome. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to find a cure, but he did come up with two powerful creatures that are often referred to as the ultimate life form, the Bio Lizard and Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow came very close with Maria, who taught him how to see the good side of everything. Shadow has no idea what his purpose was. Maria was there to help him find himself. But everything turned upside down when Gunn, thinking Project Shadow was way too dangerous to continue, destroyed the Ark and killed Maria in the process. Shadow then found himself in suspended animation. As for Gerald, well, he was hurt and wanted to revenge. He then programmed Shadow the Hedgehog by brainwashing him so that he wants to destroy the world together with Ark and Bio Lizard if he ever wakes up. What do you guys think? Should they explore Shadow's origin in the next installment? Let us know. As you already know, one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Jim Carrey, decided to retire not long after Sonic 2 premiered. And now we can't help but wonder how Jim Carrey's retirement is going to affect Sonic 3. You have to hire someone you can push around. All caps. According to a lot of fans, the third film should include a more dangerous villain than Shadow the Hedgehog, or at least a couple of villains in order for Sonic 3 to be a proper continuation that we could enjoy. These fans claim Shadow is not enough of a replacement for Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik. The minute Jim Carrey, who portrayed Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 revealed he plans to retire soon, fans started coming up with various theories regarding Sonic's next villain. The most popular theory at the moment suggests Sonic 3 is going to introduce Metal Sonic. Before we dive into the darkness, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Why? Because you won't want to miss a single twist or turn in this edgier Sonic adventure. Keep the conversation going by leaving a comment or two, sharing your hopes for Sonic's next villain. Ruining your life. Another bad joke. I lost everything because of you." As mentioned before, the second installment already gave us enough clues regarding the story of its continuation. Based on the ending of Sonic 2, the next villains are going to be Shadow the Hedgehog and Metal Sonic. So what's the origin of Metal Sonic? Well, his origin story is also a bit dark, to say the least. Metal Sonic was created by Dr. Robotnik. He's an evil robot that, as the name suggests, is modeled after Sonic, a character he's set to destroy. Seeing Metal Sonic in the third installment sounds like a promising thing. His introduction could lead to so many amazing storylines and twists that Sonic 3 could become the most successful film from the franchise. It's also worth mentioning that the Sonic films so far are all based on three video games, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles. So it only makes sense that the third installment will focus on the only video game left, Sonic CD, in which Metal Sonic makes his first appearance. Oh, this game also introduced a female hedgehog named Amy Rose. I would also like to mention that no one can actually replace Jim Carrey's Robotnik, but yes, I agree that Shadow is not enough if Robotnik doesn't appear in the next installment. Do you? And that's a wrap on the shadowy preview of Sonic 3, where things are about to get a whole lot darker. If you found this update as intriguing as a hidden boss fight, give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more mysterious discussions. See ya. Would you like to see how big a man I can be?